Hello there. In my last video where I did the comparison between the R36S and R36 Max, there was some problem with uh, the Max game console and uh, it didn't uh, want to boot properly. When this happens, uh, you can just plug it in, wait for it to be um, fully charged and then try to boot it again and it should start like the first time or the second time. Just try to reset use the reset button and uh, it should work just fine. Now in this video I wanted to show you uh, um, how to connect it to the internet and update the firmware. If you remember from my last video, the problem with R36 Max, the one that I've got from the Timo store, is that no game actually runs except for some uh, PSP games which run more or less smoothly or uh, uh, sometimes with bugs and things like that and um, I wanted to find out if it's um, really a solvable problem with an update if you connect it to the internet. Now uh, in order to recall it so you can try to just start any 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 game besides PSP and you should be I mean, in my case, I hope it's not your case. You, sh my my games, they don't they don't really work. For this, for instance, this one just has a blank screen, and then it ends up with this error, which is a very very bad error. And um, I always find that have some trouble with choosing the close button and then press A, and voila, I'm <clears throat> back into the main screen. And I remember I charged it fully. Now it's like 76%. I don't know exactly why. So it has some uh, buggy, buggy stuff inside the operating system. Um, now compared to the R36 Max, I was telling you that this one runs OpenELEC. Whereas uh, the R36S runs uh, ArcOS, which is much more customizable. And it has a couple of more features if you go to the options menu, which options menu I don't really find an equivalent here. And uh, still they, it has like a uh, main menu where you can go to select all kinds of settings. Um, but I didn't dig in, uh, that much into it. So uh, practically I would like to focus in this video about how to connect it to a network. It has, a, as you can see, a menu where you can uh, see the network settings. And you can practically enable or disable Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi SSID, Wi-Fi key. These ones I preset already and uh, maybe I just can, uh, can change this name. Maybe I need to remove the, the dash. I can say GB Max, whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as it, uh, it is connectable to the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> now, uh, the thing is that, you know, I tried it before. So this one, I've got uh, one USB adapter, which connects a Type-C, it reverts to a normal USB. And in this normal USB, I have a Wi-Fi adapter from Uplink. This one works with 5 gigahertz as well. And I just connect. And then you have two Type-C ports. This one, the left one, is for charging, as specified by DC here. And OTG is actually the port where you can insert devices. So let's insert this one and see if we can uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. Let me first disable it then enable Wi-Fi. I can see that it's not yet connected. I'm not sure exactly how can I uh, just do it correctly. The thing is that um, if I use the refresh button, it doesn't find any Wi-Fi, which is strange to me, because I don't see any other option to, to connect it. To the Wi-Fi. Enable. Let me try to enable. In, 
Wi-Fi SSID. Yeah, that's uh, one particular thing. Maybe, maybe it's something really wrong with this uh, build of this operating system. I, I have no idea whatsoever. So it's simply, and uh, I should also, you know, this device here has a, like a little LED, so it will indicate if I'm connected correctly to a Wi-Fi. But in this case, it doesn't really want to do anything. Maybe if I uh, restart it, let me restart. Let's see if we are lucky. Um, yeah, meanwhile, you can play around with the titties of the device. Ah, little titties. Look. Anyway, oh, it restarted. Okay, let's see. Are we connected? I think not. Not connected, not connected. Enable. Yeah, we are not connected, unfortunately. Um, in this case, I would resort to my last option, um, or maybe the previous last option. So what I would do, no, I will not restart, it doesn't really matter. So I will have to move to near the router and use my, uh, my adapter. Oh, no, I think I can use this one as well. No, I have to unplug. So, I will practically use a USB, a USB net Ethernet adapter. And I will connect to the router, router directly. And I also have a, a cable. So, let's, let's move near the router and see if it works. I don't think it will work. I think it's super bugged that it will not work at all so i've got the router here the cable i'll just plug it in and then i will plug it in the back of the router Okay, they have clicked. Let's see, do we have any activity? No. That's the thing, I think this device is simply not going to be cooperative enough. Oh, we are connected, look. Not to the Wi-Fi, but we are connected to the internet. Cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Let me check again. Yeah, seems we are connected. I don't see any lights on my adapter, but that that should be fine. And let me drag my chair closer. Sorry about these interruptions, but I wanted to make it as raw and live as possible. So. Network settings, we are connected. System settings, I remember I saw some uh, while ago, a couple of options to update the, uh, the operating system. Danger zone, is it in the danger zone? No, I don't want to overclock it. Force update. Mm, I'm not sure if this is the right option. Um, system. Hmm. Where is it? Mm. No, this is for the. Mm. Uh, it's very strange to be honest. Tools update update game list. Yeah, update game list. I think something like this. Missing BIOS check. Save. Maybe some. Yeah, maybe one of those options. Really update game list. Yes, update. No, oh, but I don't think it's something. Ah, oh, it doesn't go over the internet. 
Hmm. Missing BIOS check. Let's see. I don't think this one works with the internet. Hmm. That is strange, to be honest. Why do I remember that I saw some options to... Uh, oh. To update. Yeah, I don't see. Maybe I was wrong, maybe maybe I'm too old, maybe I don't remember precisely. <laughs> Unfortunately. YouTube search for one of my bosses. Yeah, then the only option is to actually do a factory reset somehow. I mean, uh, get the open uh, elec from uh, scratch and start over. I don't see any other option, unfortunately, because, uh, yeah, it doesn't give you the possibility. That's too bad. That's really, really too bad. But what I would do, I will check if I have one, um, one spare SD card in order to, to flash it. But I don't think I have. All of them are used to some extent. Which is too too bad because I don't see any any other reason to connect to the internet if I don't have an option to update. But I don't know how I I remember I really remember I saw one. All games. Mm -hmm. Why do I remember this thing? PC engine, no, no. Mm. That's, that's odd. <clears throat> that's why you see you have maybe like uh, 3000 games, but if you don't have a good operating system, you don't have the options to um, to at least, you know, work it in such a way that you get a nice experience, then I think it's in, in vain. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. I'm, yeah, it's too bad that I have this device and I'm not able to play much on it. Honestly, yeah. Very, very disappointing. Let's see, this one works? No. Yeah, nothing works, unfortunately. Boom, boom, boom. Crash, boom, bam. So, uh, I will. I think I will uh, just uh, stop here and uh, I will try to um, um, reflash the whole thing. I mean, it's not working anyway and I just cannot update it either. So, yeah, that's, that's too bad. I will just stop it here and yeah. Thank you for watching this disappointing uh, video with this device. It's pretty problematic, I would say. So, um, yeah, that's why I would advise you to buy the R36S device instead. It seems to be much more stable than, uh, than this one. So, uh, yeah, all the best to you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like any of these videos. Thank you so much.